Antonelli, if there's one thing I remember about you, it's scoring big goals at big times. Oh, thanks, you know, I'm, I, I was just there at the right time, right spots, you know, and... Uh, oh, stop. You worked <laughs> to get there, and you know it. Well, geez, I was so tired I couldn't even make it down on the breakaway, but uh, thank God Bobby and I was there. I get past to him, and he had a good chance, and I got the rebound. How scared were you tonight? Very scared, very scared. When it was 3-1, uh, you know, you worked so hard all season, you, you ended up in first place. Uh, but the regular season doesn't mean a thing, a team like Pittsburgh. We played so well against us, and uh, the score is 3-1, and we're, you know, we're got that feeling. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna get beat if we don't get going. I remember uh, so many times hearing a big goal from you. Let's take a look at it again. You can watch it right down here and relive this happy moment for you. You started out coming into the blue line, and then you were tackled down. And just tell me a little bit of what was going through your mind as you were covered. Right there, I, you know, I haven't got that much energy left, and I'm just trying to block uh, Paul Baxter from uh, taking me out. Then I get up. I gotta get the puck, and, and I know Bobby Nystrom's following me up on the play, so I know he's in front of the net, and I just gave it to him, and he had a hell of a chance there, and I just got the rebound. Oh, jeez. Thank God it's over. <laughs> that look on your face is just worth a million dollars, John. Here's another look at it again. I'm sure you won't tire from looking at it. Well, here, right here, you know, this is where you need your goaltender and, and your key defenseman. I mean, Mike McEwen makes a super play to me, you know, and I got a breakaway. You look like your legs were going out on you. Yeah, right here. I'm just trying to maybe interfere with Paul to let me go in all alone, but he takes, he does a good job on me. And Bobby and I again gets the chance. Oh, jeez. And there it is. And the place went absolutely berserk, as you might expect. The tying goal and the winning goal for John Tonelli. How about that look on your face, partner? What did Al Arbor say to you uh, at the end of the third period? Well, he, you know, he said we worked hard all season for this, and and. Uh, you know, we're, we're an experienced hockey team in overtime. We've had so many of these. We've had like 22 games, 21 games, and, uh, you know, we come, on, come out on top but most, most of the times. But the key, the key in overtime is to take it to the other team. And Pittsburgh was taking it to us just previous to that for a while. I know Bobby Nystrom, who didn't play in the previous games in the series, who came back tonight, he had a chance to look at the team from, uh, from a different perspective and see what was going wrong. How important do you think he was to tonight's game? Because I know you two play well together, as we saw in that last goal. Uh, Bobby Nystrom, he's uh, probably one of my favorite hockey players in the entire NHL. He's just a, a great person, you know. He works so hard on the ice, and, and everything he gets, he works for. And, uh, you know, him... We missed him so much when he was sitting up in the stands, but, you know, he inspired us in the dressing rooms. He'd come down and talk to us, but the biggest, the biggest thing is, is to have him on the ice. The Nassau Coliseum fans, I know they give you guys a charge. How much did they give you a charge when you stepped onto the ice in OT? Oh, great. They're, they're a tremendous uh, crowd, and uh, we love them, and, and I hope they love us because, you know, we're, they pay for the seats, and we're out there trying to give them the best show we can. Well, talk about shows. You guys are going to rip this city apart again for the Patrick Division final. New York Rangers, what do you think? Oh, you got to have it. You got to have a New York, New York series. You know, it's you know, you got to hand it to Pittsburgh. Though they just played a super game, and and they're a hell of a hockey team. We, you know, uh, right now we have a lot of respect for them, and uh, and we definitely have a lot of respect for the Rangers because, you know, with Herb Brooks coaching, they got a new formula now, and they're they're really playing well together. Well, John, tonight uh, the Montreal Canadiens were upset in OT by Quebec, and luckily, thanks to you, the Islanders were not in that same category. And for being our USA MVP, John Tonelli will receive a Timex LCD chrono alarm timer. Look to Timex for your kind of style. Timex, we make technology beautiful. And John, I know that these people from Timex used to say, takes a licking and keeps on ticking, and you guys, luckily enough, are able to say that. Thanks very much, Al. Thanks, Timex. <laughs> John Tonelli, two goals tonight, the tying goal and the overtime winner. The New York Islanders defeat the Pittsburgh Penguins by a score of 4-3 to three and move on to face the Rangers for the Patrick Division Championship.